Hi, so in this video, I'm going to teach you the different voltages and power rails in a laptop motherboard. So let's get started. So let's begin here with the first controller here. As you can see, we have the CPU core. So we're gonna see all this circuit. As you can see here, if you understand, basically this circuit over here or control IC, you can understand in your motherboard. So those square here, as you can see, means circuit of the motherboard. So basically, any motherboard contain many circuits. It's, for example, the CPU circuit, the 3 volt, 5 volt circuit, the RAM circuit, the North Bridge circuit, the charge IC circuit, etc. So I'm going to teach you the different voltages in every computer motherboard. If you follow me, until the end of this video, I guarantee for you that you will understand any computer power rails. So let's get started. As you can see here, so let's begin, for example, with 5 volt, 3.3 volt. So this is two main voltages that you can find in every motherboard. So without these two voltages, the motherboard cannot be operated and working correctly because all voltages in the motherboard are based on these two voltages 5 volt 3.3 volt and the 19 volt the main voltage okay so here basically this is the 3 volt 5 volt controller or ic here in the left we have inputs okay and in the right over here we have outputs so in order to generate as you can see here plus 5 volt always and plus 3 volt always we call it always because these two voltages are always exist in the motherboard without pressing the power button you should find these two motherboards once you connect the power ad adapter these two voltages should be present without pressing the power button okay that's why we called it always plus 5 volt always and plus 3 volt always and sometimes we find in some computers or laptops plus 12 volt always so here we have input and here we have the output okay basically the part number for this ic the control ic is tps 51125 okay so here we have the dc bat out as you can see this is the vn basically the voltage the input voltage and over here we have two enable signals okay we have here an enable signal as you can see here power s5 enable do you see s5 states here we have s5 means s5 means the laptop is the first stage of power on, of powering in power on, on the laptop okay so by the way i explain all the state s5 s4 s3 and s0 in a special video i will put the link of that video where i explain all the states in the description box that video is a very important video if you want to to understand the state S5, S4, S3, S1, etc. Because if you understand the state, the power state of a laptop, you can easily troubleshoot and isolate the failure in every laptop. Okay, so here we have an enable signal that is generated in S5 state. Okay, so here this is this this is these two are input signals as you can see here. We have input signals okay as you can see here, this is the first input signal and this is the second input power here input signal because enable and here input power we have the input voltage then here we have output as you can see we have the first output signal we will get as you can see the power good once this input are correct so we have the power good okay the power good means all powers are connected or all signals are present and over here we have the output power we will get then the v out one and v out two plus five volt always and plus three volt always okay six a means six amps okay so 
that's it here we have inputs and over here we have outputs okay i'm going to teach you or to explain to you in a schematic in detail okay in the circuit diagram of three volt five volt circuit in detail so let's now see the second circuit here we have as you can see the cpu core okay the cpu core basically is for the processor its reference or part number is isl6265 okay so if you want the details for example of this circuit you can just go to google and post and write isl6265 and you will find the circuit diagram and little of this circuit so i show you how so let's go for example to google we have here isl6265 okay so let's type in here isl6265 okay data sheet and press enter so here let's pick for example the first result we have here isl data sheet download okay this is the same circuit so let's hit the first result here we go so here basically this is a very important uh, website that I, I use frequently alldatasheet.com because i find sometimes i want to study and to see the block diagram or the circuit diagram of a circuit so i use frequently this website this is a very interesting website so here as you can see i have here isl6265 i have here a pd file here we have 24p means 24 page here as you can see we have multi output controller with integrated mosfet drivers for emd svi capable so let's click in the pd file in order to download it and then here as you can see we have download let's click just over the part number isl6265 once again so here we go we have here isl6265 file is ready as you can see here we have 24 pages okay one of 24 pages so you can just simply click over here if you want to download it to your desktop so let's download it as you can see so here we have a security code that we can enter so let's enter the security okay so 51677 and just click download so as you can see here we download right now the pdf file so the pdf file is downloaded as you can see done so let's click over it so you can do this for any integrated circuit or any components that you find in the motherboard if you want to read about it and to know about it more characteristics and its schematic its block diagram etc so this is the first page as you can see you can read the features etc so let's move on for example to the second page as you can see here we have the pinout okay the pinout over here okay so let's see we have the functional block diagram as you can see inside the ic basically this block diagram or functional block diagram you cannot find it in the schematic of the laptop no you cannot find it in the schematic but in its data sheet you will find this functional block diagram as you can see okay and of course we have electrical specifications as you can see including the enabled signals how much the temperature the power the maximum power so all these all conditions you will find the minimum and maximum values as you can see let's go back to our schematic so we have seen the data sheet of this ic you can do the same thing for any ic here you can just pick or take the part number of, of the ic and then go to google post it and check for its data sheet so here using the same working principle here as you can see we have input stage here we have input and over here we have the output stage okay so basically this ic is for what is for the cpu okay so here we have the vid setting 
the vid setting we have the input signal basically here we have an enable signal so guys enable signal means without it means a control signal it's like a key of the door without it you cannot go in okay so for the cpu of course it needs 19 volt power as you can see here we have 19 volt as you can see over here we have the input voltage 19 volt and it needs also some identification ids okay so every processor or cpu has its own identification ids as you can see here we have as you can see so this is identification ids so based on this ids the control ic can know the 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 value of the power or of the vehicle that will generate okay because there are some cpu that is powered with one volt others for example with 1.2 volt others 0.7 volt but what is the thing that will determine or identify the right voltage the ids the ids of cpu so this id is sent to this ic from the cpu so from the cpu to the ic then this ic after receiving this ids and enable signals it will then generate the plus vcc core here we have plus vcc core zero and plus vcc core one so it means this ic has two channels okay two channels because as you know for the cpu circuit it has more than one channel i will explain to you what what does it mean channel okay in the next lecture and also it will generate plus vdd and b means for the north bridge for the chipset near to the cpu okay so here we have inputs and here we have outputs so let's move on to the next ic as you can see here so the next ic as you can see here we have the charge ic or the control ic that will be charged to generate the voltage to charge the battery and to power the motherboard in the same time okay so here of course always we have inputs over here as you can see here we have input signal okay we have input signal here okay and we have input power of course for any ic it it needs enables signals here we have enable signal and here we have plus three volt and the ad plus means what means adapter we have dc in here this ic should receive it the 19 volts after receiving the 19 volt and this enable signal it will then generate as you can see the v out dc bat out means the voltage to charge the battery and over here we have the input or the adapter okay for the adapter okay so let's move on to the next i see so here we have plus 1.1 volt for chip means for chipset including not bridge including graphic card including ich or input output controller hub so here as you can see we have also enable signal always we have here input signal and we have input power so this ic take just plus 5 volt always okay do you see 5 volt always so that's why i told you that 5 volt always is a very important voltage so this 5 volt always is the voltage generated by this IC. So this voltage goes directly here. Here this voltage is the output and here is the input. So this IC takes this voltage and then after after receiving the enable signal, here we have S3. So this voltage is generated in the state tree. So guys, as I told you before, I have, I put the link of the video where i explain the states in the description box please don't hesitate to watch that video a very important video for every technician or engineer that want to go to a prof to become professional in hardware repair so when so enable signal plus 5 volt this ic will generate plus 1.1 volt for chips okay so 
it gives anti 9 amps and of course it will generate also plus 3 volt always okay so the next IC as you can see over here we have 1.8 volt and 0.9 volt so this is basically for what for RAM random access memory as I told you before for random access memory it has basically for any type of RAM two type of vol voltages a main voltage and a voltage for terminals so here it seems that the type of the RAM is DDR2 here we have 1.8 volt and 0.9 volt so this is DDR2 so for DDR1 the main voltage is 2.5 volt and the VTT voltage is 1.25 volt for DDR2 we have 1.8 volt the voltage for terminals or VTT 0.9 volt for DDR3 1.5 volt and 0.75 volt DDR4 1.2 volt as a main voltage and for terminals 0.6 volt for DDR5 1.1 volt for a main voltage and 0.55 volt for terminals okay so this is the IC that will be generated two voltages for the RAM as you can see here we have in the V out as you can see we have 1.8 volt and 0.9 volt for terminals so here this is the input okay and of course the power code the power code means these voltages are generated correctly okay just the power code this this IC inform the super IO the big IC that is responsible for the whole power in the motherboard that I'm um, successfully generate my voltages okay so it inform the SIO that these two voltages are generated correctly okay so after receiving the enable uh, signals as you can see here in the S5 set and receiving plus 5 volt always from this uh, the first IC and 1.8 volt run it will generate these two voltages then we have these two IC basically here the same working principle this IC has a, a purpose to generate plus 1 volt also for chipsets and this one plus 1 1.5 volt also for chipsets so here always we have inputs and outputs it will take the enable signal in C3 and plus 5 volt from the first IC that we have seen before as you can see here this first IC we have plus 5 volt okay then we have plus 5 volt plus enable signal it will generate plus 1 point volt and the power code it will inform the CPU IO that I'm successfully generate this voltage the same for the last IC we have here plus 1.8 volt and an enable signal okay in the state 3 as you can see here state 3 enable plus VCC this is input signals it will generate V out 1.5 volt and power OK or power good so this is it guys this is the working principle how the voltages are working in the computer motherboard so welcome to, to your question if you have any question about this video please tell me that in the comments below and please don't forget to subscribe share the video and likes please because your likes motivate me to create more and more videos thank you very much and see you in the next video